there's a DJ up there, man. This is sick. Hello, Los Santos, and welcome back to 101.1 Siren Radio. As always, I am your host, Sophie Sanders. I hope you had a great weekend out there. I know myself, I took a little trip to the shore, to the beach, you know, hung out, got some sun. Had a nice, relaxing weekend, but, you know, we're back on the grind. We're back to it, and that means it's a Tuesday night, and it is time for some Cubano Loco. Tonight, we've got a one heck of a special report, I guess you could say, a special episode. Hopefully, you're ready to ask some questions, to get your, you know, get your questions answered, and uh, maybe maybe hear from some people that you don't always get to hear from. And uh, that's, that's right. Tonight, if you saw it on Twitter, we have some special guests from the police department, but we will let them introduce themselves. Oswaldo, you ready to take it away? Ah, uh, sí, hello, compañeros y compañeras. Welcome to another audition de Cubano Loco. And I have here some good guests today. I Ooh, no that was a good intro. People trending today. I feel like, I feel like today is going to be fantastic. I have new co-host, new special co-host today. We have Mr. Charabu. Mr. Charabu, how are you doing today? I'm okay. I was bad until Bass walked in here because he smells like raw eggs. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, we also have our fan favorite, Mr. Boom Boom. How you doing today, Boom Boom? It, is that me, Boom Boom Boom? Okay, yeah, my name's Bon Bon. Hello, no, my fan favorite. It's good to see you all again. Good to be back, even if it's It would be here. funny if somebody Next walked in here and shot the, the place up, man. Boom Boom, and I didn't even know it. Bon Bon. Uh, I'm Boom Boom. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, uh, and we also have uh, the, the the old menace to society, Mr. James Randall. How's it going, Mr. James? I I, I win too. I win too. <laughs> How did Malik kill the girl? What? Oh, what? In the uh, um, in a parking lot. Um, uh, and 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 Ooh. we also have Charlotte. I sell cocaine out of my store, Fairfield. How's it going? Well, um, it, it's good, but it's, it should probably be Charlotte. I don't sell cocaine out of my store, Fairfield. But I that was, you know, that was close. <laughs> I did well, hear you sell cocaine sense. out of there. Well, okay, a lot a... of people have heard that. That doesn't make it true. That's bald that you should do a partnership with her with your, your lean that you have in your van at the apartment, all that, all that cups of lean. You understand you got I police don't... officers on this radio show, right? Uh, I think, I think it's 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 all a joke. It's, you know, it's allegedly, not all real. Well, I have a video. A good way. This is a good way to segue um, into our new uh, police commissioner, Mr. Sam Bass. That's uh, crazy. He, he, he wanted to he wanted to um, give some transparency and some insight on how this city is going to be uh, working with restructure of the police department. Take it take it away, Mr. Bass. Mm. Hello, everybody. I'm the newly appointed uh, police commissioner of the whole entire police department. My job is to run the PD and to make it a better place. I came on the Siren Radio to not only give you the ability and uh, the platform to ask questions regarding the PD, but also talk about the new recent changes that are happening. The whole police department is going to be completely different going forward, okay? With me being at the helm, with me being the leader of the PD, I can promise you there's going to be a lot of good changes that not only affect your daily life, but also elevate police officers so you can feel very safe in our wonderful city called Los Santos. Woohoo! Yeah! Police department! Oh, okay. Mm. Ba are, are you open for questions at this time? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I don't know if you want to introduce also my Sergeant Lance Malton of the state, but... Ah, see, see. It's good save because yeah. I didn't know his name. Mr. Malton, how's it going? I'm going good. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm pretty good. Uh, what, do you have any few words you, you would like to say to the city? Uh, yeah, sure. This is a Trooper Sergeant Lance Moulton, also with the state police. I work directly underneath. Oh. Uh, do we know? Oh, I guess we, we have a... color already. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, Yo, right, what Malton. up, guys? Moulton <laughs> Bass, what's going on? Oh, Real God. Quick. Oh, hey, oh, shout God. out to Betty. <laughs> I appreciate you guys poaching his department, doing what you got to do for the troopers. Hey, uh, and shout out the lady I kidnapped. Shout out all those dead cops. Love you guys. Bad, uh, doing great work, Kamish. Uh, well, um, um, do you do you have an, a question for the officers? Uh... No, I just wanted to give my props to Commissioner Sam Bass. That's my fucking commissioner right there. That's my oh, boy. So that's right, man. That's wow. My, oh, wow, you have fans, That's my boy. That's my Very boy. Very cool. 
Th thank you, thank you, civilian Rami Rami. By the way, you're wanted uh, for five counts of destruction of government property, two counts hey, of reckless endangerment, and one count of hey. vandalism. Okay, turn yourself in at the nearest police station, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's my commissioner right there. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm getting off the phone lines here, guys. Hope you guys got a good one, all right? Bass, love you. We love you, baby. <laughs> we, the cool. criminals, love you, Bass. Oh, you're doing a great job, Bass. You're doing a great job. Wow, it seems like the criminals love you, Bass. They love ring, me ring. now, but they're going to hate me ring, in the near ring. future with the changes coming through. Oh, ring, ring. okay. Well, we got more callers. So, caller, you're live on line one. Siren Radio, go ahead. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Do not because interact kid, with this you man. You told us to not talk to you. Hello, what's up, Shut little kid? Up. Shut up. Let me cook. Oh. Let me cook. Oh, they're I'm cooking. cooking. Commissioner, what the hell do you mean they're cooking? I respect police. I'm my own Jacob. I turn seven years old next week. And I'm wondering, are you going to make it legal to murder radio hosts? Because if you don't, you will never catch me. Hosts plural? <clears throat> Excuse me, you little shit? No. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No. To answer your question, kidding. murder is not legal, and uh, we will find you, we will catch you, no, and we will no, throw you in jail, and you'll pay the full time no, in the penitentiary, no, you scumbag, all right? You hear me? You'll never Just because you're hiding behind a voice changer or a uh, radio, I'm seven oh, years make child, you a big, man. tough I'm villain. Yeah, this old. actually is a child. You're you're actually a seven-year-old. You will wake yeah, up, and I will be standing on your chest, putting a desert eagle to your jaw, and then when you wake up, I will say, I will say, Bang, and then I will pull the trigger. Point proven. Evil has no age, okay? okay? There's plenty of babies out there that killed that should be prosecuted. I'm gonna do There's it. There's plenty I'm of babies that killed? You're, you're not gonna do a single you thing, you stupid of son of a bitch, okay. old ass like, kid. Tracking. When I find you, you I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke your eyes out. Do you hear me? No. What? I'm Jacob. I'm six years old. And I will, I, I, will, I will cut your, I'm gonna be seven. I'm gonna be seven. I'm almost seven. I will cut your throat and dance it around, and I will hit. Oh, thanks, Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Jesus Thank Christ. God. That's why you go to school. I will, I will, That's what, oh, hey, he's back. Will, Jacob, Jacob, we got, we got, we got to go. We have another caller. You're live on line two, Siren Radio. Go ahead. Hey, uh, my name is Bringle Dingus. Um, I was wondering, Bass, how do you justify how you have split our family apart and what you did to my mother? What? <clears throat> nice question about Pressing police work. Questions. Thank you. Wait, wait, well, hold on, Bass. What, what's that about? January sixth. When? Um, you know, okay, uh, okay. Hang up, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone of this guy. Hang up the phone. I always wonder if you were a part of I was not there on January sixth. I, in fact, I was helping making sure that, that there was no riots happening in the city. Wait, oh. so you were the? Wait, oh, I meant I. So, so where were you? Wait, me? Were you helping or were you not there? I'm I confused. was there helping. I was. I was Making oh, sure there's no there. riots or getting out of hand, okay? I was helping another aspect of uh, policing. So, so Bass, what, what's this about the family breaking apart? Well, I didn't expect to come on here and, and talk about my family. That was not my intention. I didn't think I had to share my personal life. I came to answer a police questions and police work. Don't however, you think, Bass, however, I should that, uh, give you a little bit of insight as far as what's been going on in my life. I got no okay, problem with perfect. transparency because I believe in that. Once upon a time, I dated a girl that was very crazy. Her name was Shelly Smith. Oh, the burger. The burger woman. The burger queen. The burger woman. Oh, no. What what the the hell? Oh, no. Hey, guys, me again. Guys, me Hi again. Oh, Just call in. Out. I used to live with these guys. I used to live with him and Shelly. I, I was their name. I was their roommates. They were what? my they were my I tenants. I didn't hear about that. Yeah. Guys, the amount of drug, uh, uh, you know... You know, they were doing it all. Let me tell you that, all right? What? This guy is not clean, oh. okay? There's a reason why he became fat and got skinny out of nowhere. You know what, what I mean? Was, oh, like, what was the drug Anonymous. Choice? Yeah, I'm exactly. Talk, I'm the talking the heroin. I'm talking, oh. I'm oh, talking cocaine. Yuck. Everything, guys. Everything. And let me tell you guys something. Hey, she was the problem. I'm happy for Bass. Okay? Oh, and, oh, and, and, what, and, what do you mean she was yeah, the problem? She's a terrorist. You know, that's what, what? I mean. You know, I'm gonna uh, so hold him down I. for my what? boy. I'm gonna Rami, hold him down for my boy. I mean, un unknown citizen, aren't you kind? Of, aren't you a terrorist? Probably. I no, assume? no, sir, no, sir. Don't I, have terrorists. Definitely terrorized record. people in the past, I, but he's not actual terrorists. Lame, 
loser. Let me, I let me, no let me I tell you guys loser. something. Let me tell you guys something. That man Bass okay. is living tell a beautiful you. life without that bitch Shelly. All right. Oh my god. Oh, okay. My. Hang up the phone. Oh my god. Hang up the phone. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. She was a bitch. Shelly's a nice human being. What do you? She's just a little guy. She's lovely. Okay. So do you guys hang up or should I hang up? Please. Oh, oh, how the hell are you still on the phone? Hang on. You're scaring me. You're scaring me. We hung up on you, okay, Brinkle? Hey, All right. Hey, James, I got something for you real quick. Uh, can you believe this is Sam Bass sitting right here next to you? That's crazy to me. It's crazy, right? Sam That's Bass. crazy. To, that's and crazy to me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. That's crazy. That's both so crazy. I'm, I don't, I'm freaking out a little bit. Uh, and yeah, like, Sophie, like, we have also like one Vincent. more member of High it's Command, like Vincent Canoli. He's a, the acting sheriff right now. All right, um, we we do have another guest here. If you want to like well? to introduce Jesus. them, um, let me yeah, let me uh, go ahead and get him a radio. You guys keep talking to you oh, know. We have we have somebody else here, and I'll Vincent get him a radio. Cannoli. Did you guys what? know that Vincent Canoli, um, um, he wanted to take me to the moon. Ring, ring. Ring. Oh, and we I also have we too. we also made love on May's Bank Tower. Ring, ring. Oh, oh you we have a phone call. Caller. Caller. Yeah, we did. Ring, ring. Uh, hello, caller. Answer. You're live on line one. I will cut oh, your no. throat. No, no, click. Oh God. No. The fuck you! You hear me? You stupid little. I'm gonna find you and beat the shit out of you. You hear me? You don't even know what the gritty is, okay? You I probably don't even have all of your feet. I'm bitch. gonna spank you. You hear me? I hope you fucking Wait. die. Before Shit! I hang, up hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. I have another caller. We 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 well, are you being commissioner now, what does this mean for the police department and the civilians of Los Santos? Wow, what a great question. I was dying Thank for someone to back ask on track. that question. As well, the new commissioner, I am going to legalize most crime, but not all of it. Uh, for example, if you attempt to rob the burger, that is still illegal. <laughs> if you attempt to get free hey, can food... Can we just grab the, the fucking radio phones? What? what? You asked me a question. <clears throat> No, um, no, James. Actual bass. as the actual police commissioner, um, we are yeah, working. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, boss. We are working on changes that forever will change our city, and I mean changes that that, yeah. uh, that really affect the way police work and the way we respond to such crimes. A lot of times, a lot of these civilians that get targeted or get attacked all the time, um, they feel like the PD is not doing enough a job, right? So they have the reasons to not believe the PD to not trust us. But going forward, things will change. It will work. Yeah, Honestly, uh, we know that. We've been hearing that. What are going to be those changes, Baz? Well, like I said, I, I can't go in details as far as, um you know, the changes ring, ring, yet. Ring, ring. Okay. Can we so hold you the calls go into for a second? Hold on. Here. If you can't go into detail about it, then how are we... What, what questions are, can you answer here then on this I radio I can answer program? all the questions you can throw my way, but some of them I cannot go in details as far as the plans we have that way. Because so can you give us a general scope? Can you give us a general scope of what you plan to include? Right. Now, so what are you tackling? So right now we are tackling training, quality, and corruption, and corruption being the biggest mm. topic that affects civilians and criminals in Los Santos. Mm. Um, starting Best, yesterday, some might say that you're corrupt. I mean, he did, the, the, he, did he did come on the radio and say that you were his favorite commissioner. Uh, just a little uh, bit. Of I'm, I'm wow. asking questions that people will say to him in the public eye, not on this radio station. He needs to be prepared for these questions as commissioner. Th thank you. Quite a little man. Listen, well, <laughs> some people believe I might be corrupt, or I've done some corrupt things. Yes, once upon a time, I liked the power that was given to me through the badge. I have abused my powers. I have been corrupt, but I'm cleansed, and I've done that, and that's the old me. I went to the penitentiary. I know what it's like to go to jail as a police officer, okay? Not a lot of cops can say they spent a lot of time in jail. I spent two years. I learned. I reformed. This system has changed me. I am a product of the system that has changed and is trying ring, to ring, do ring, ring. his best to ring, make his city ring. better. All right. Okay. One last question before I hang up, Miss Ma'am from Cyber Radio. Yeah. Bats, you know. He's talking to me. 
So <laughs> how does this work then for commissioner? Uh, you know, are you the one who passes these laws and everybody just has to obey, abide by it, or or is high command even have a voice? Or how, how does how does I, this work? Well, with me being placed as a commissioner of the police department, there's going to be more autonomy for the PD to have ever changing either policies or SOPs that can tackle the rampant crime the city deals with. Second. So what's the difference between being Soze being commissioner and now you being the commissioner? The problem that when Soze was commissioner, he was wearing a lot of hats. Um, he was uh, being pulled into multiple different directions to where he couldn't commit very well to the PD. But with me being at the helm, I got more time than he does. And I can get oh, Some may say you wear multiple hats. You know, you, try, you tend to side with criminals. Speaking of Hatch, that sounds like a great time to talk about our favorite sponsor here on the radio show, Hat.com. If you go to Hat.com, you can use code HATCODE, Los Cubanos Locos, 15 <laughs> Hat.com, 15% off HATCODE, Los Cubanos Radio, for 15% off your next hat purchase. <laughs> when the hell did we get this? Wear it on your head. Oh, I secured the bag. What? You know, Where's the money? <laughs> I ate the bag. What? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Chather, uh, how about you ask some questions? For well, we did have a caller out there. If, uh, oh, if okay. the caller okay. still on the line. Yeah, I'm being still out there, call? Yeah, I, I, it's me, Brinkle again. Uh, Brinkle, oh, are you okay. going to ask a question about police? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, do you have like a PR person in the uh, in the P the PD? Because so Smoltham. far, all you've really done is uh, is is say that you can't talk about the changes that you're making. I, I, I am talking about. Talk well, about I was going to go in detail as far as new changes happen with the PD then, that will have to make went, the public to, feel at ease, right? Jail. Was, well, okay, all right. Well, let's uh, let's give let's give uh, the commissioner uh, I'll, some time I'll, to I chat could, here. Yeah, I can Malton. speak on that here. I'm Sergeant Lance Moulton again. I'm probably the closest thing this police department has to an unofficial PR person. Uh, in regards to the question about corruption, look, we may not have an official IA department. However, anyone is welcome to make a complaint about any police officer, regardless of that rank, and it will be investigated fully, uh, perhaps even including criminal charges. While I can't go into details, in the past couple of weeks, we have had multiple high-level officers disciplined, some of which have even been fired completely from the police department. So changes are coming and are, in fact, happening right now. As far as uh, the general roadmap that was asked and focused on training, as the commissioner said, and we're also focused on spinning up the specialized police units that you'll see more of on the street. I believe the most vocal one that's been on Twitter lately that you may have noticed is the HSPU, High Speed Pursuit Unit. Yes. You know, Malt, and that's a great point you bring, but, you know, uh, ring, this, ring. Is, this is uh, back to bats. This is back to bats. Some might say the regime that you have now has been the same regime that's been running the PD for years now how do you answer that <clears throat> well you know ball in yourself brian i be oh never mind strike that strike that strike that but you know you what you how do you answer that commissioner well these are the people i can trust these are people i, I believe that um placing them in that position will lead to a successful police department right i wouldn't have them around if they don't do the work i'm not kind of person who just people based on their police work and their leadership skills not what kind of friendship we have together do you meet them in um, jail I, I mean, I think this might be a great time to segue. We were going to introduce uh, the sheriff here, which I think to a lot of us on the radio right now, this might be news that uh, this is Sheriff Cannoli. Correct. Yes. It's pronounced. It's pronounced Randall. Oh, Sheriff Randall. Uh, hey, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I thought now would be a good time to formally announce uh, I have been elected as sheriff. Uh, I don't know where I am. Holy, yeah, congratulations. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, oh great. Well, how about the one behind you? There's I don't remember a, as well, too. Oh, Go ahead, Cannoli. An officer behind you, hey. baby? Uh, yeah. Hey, okay. everybody. It's uh, me, Vincent Cannoli. Uh, I was the uh, sheriff, interim sheriff of the BCSO, but I have uh, since been demoted to uh, interim undersheriff as uh, Toretti has come back into his position, but I'm um, happy to be here. Uh, I have a question for you, uh, ring, ring. Oli. Do you remember the time at the Maze Bank Tower? Uh, you. What would you uh, be re referring to? You no, know, the Walter. picture I have. Uh, can you put the picture up there? It's just me and you ramming each other. You remember oh, that Toretti's day? back. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, as Valdo, as I've said multiple times to you, that was a doctored photo. It's not, it's not uh, doctored. That was very, you know, 
damaging to my reputation uh, around the city. Mean? You know, uh, I have a reputation out here for, you know, my family brand of cannolis back in Palermo. And, you know, that, that photo was very damaging. Okay, I, was, I think you're lying, and I don't think you want the thing. I mean, at the time, I was in a committed relationship, and uh, I've since yeah. left that relationship, uh, and now I'm back, back another committed. You, right. you did ha play a part in the destruction that was uh, my previous relationship, yes, due to the photo. The photo. Yeah, you're very uh, welcome. But I, this I do want to thank. I wish him, man. At the end of the day, I think you two need to put your differences aside, uh, give each other a really cool high five. And if the smack sound of the high five sounds good enough, that means your destiny will be pals forever. But if the smack sound is underwhelming, for example, if it, if if it's a, this is a good one. If you put high five and it, you know, it sounds like, you know, that's that good. That is a good one, yeah. Well, if I you agree, high I five and it's it's like a little, you know, it was like. Maybe you should, you, the world would be better off if you two were, were no longer friends. I uh, I would like to go out on a limb and say that uh, since the Maze Bank Tower incident, as Valdo and myself have repaired our relations, Shut actually. Up. He tried taking me to the moon. Mm. Correct. The Cannoli Space Program did endorse as Valdo as the uh, mayor-elect uh, a couple months ago. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out, but uh, as Valdo's would be, uh, organization has still worked very closely with the Cannoli Space Program in getting us to get a car on the moon. Hey, can I ask any questions to, to the public who is listening to this radio station? I'm going to ask you guys questions. Why is it okay. you don't trust the PD? Go. Ring, ring. Uh, Chatter, inc oh, inconsistency. Oh, okay. Oh. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. You got the ring. Yeah, they got the ring. They got the ring. Got the ring. Um, <laughs> let's go. Mama, Mama's been waiting. Mama, go ahead. You're first. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how you can identify me, but I, I'm, I, I don't. I, okay, so, uh, that's Mama. kind of the... As an anonymous caller, I, I wanted to take the, 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 the point of view for the officers. Uh, well, where were you at, around uh, March when, when Osvaldo and James crashed an airplane in RPD? No, that was that was Mama. That was Mama. That Mama crashed an airplane into uh, MRPD, and she didn't get terrorism. Are you self-reporting, or are you telling me about a crime? Um, I can't tell. Why did you ring ID, Mama? Uh, <laughs> kind of uh, weird. Other caller that didn't ring. Uh, Hang up the phone on Mama. You're next. She's scuffed, ring, dude. Ring, ring, ring. ring, ring, ring. The other caller was next. Uh, Your question was, why don't we support the police department? How much time you got? It's Cosmo. The police department. I remember you, sir. I remember that voice that we had Cosmo. in custody. That's right. You're, you're a truth seeker. Yeah. I'm a truth warrior, and they call me Cosmo. Listen, here's the thing. The corruption in the police department doesn't start with the police. It goes way higher. Everybody knows about the fluoride and toothpaste in the water supply, but what they don't tell you is that they're putting raw fluoride in the toilet paper, and that's it. they're putting it in the toilet paper because when you use toilet paper, it bypasses your liver and can go directly in your bloodstream. And you, I know damn well I've been in the back of a police car. I've seen mountains of toilet paper. You got whole buckets of it, and you're distributing it to the people, saying, here, we're giving you toilet paper because we want you to be clean and cleanly. But you're just trying, you're just trying to control their thoughts by putting the fluoride in them. And that's why no matter how many people you arrest and put in jail for doing bad things, you're always going to be just a pawn of big toilet paper. Open your eyes. Mask, how do you have toilet paper? Hang up the phone on this guy. Miss you, Cosmo. Oh, and, so and, to answer, and, and, and to answer this question. To answer yeah, this question, man. first of all, that's why you buy a bidet. Second of all, um, that guy needs therapy. I have no Correct. idea what he's talking about. Correct. True, actually. True. Yeah, the I bounced great. my therapist's head off of a window until they stopped making noise. All right, click. Okay. Click. Um, um, so I, I do want to ask a um, question. Yeah, I want, Chather, I want, I want your perspective. Well, I just, I, I got, a, I got a couple questions first, but yeah, I, okay, Bass, exactly what, what about, up, yeah. what about these gang compounds, Bass? You gotta, you got any plans to get rid of these, all these gangbangers compounds? Absolutely, gang absolutely. We're gonna be starting with little mouse scowl first, and then working our way through every single gang compound, removing every single well, hold on. reinforcement I have, I have walls. 
Oh, here comes Ramen. Here comes Ramen. Moscow game compound. Isn't that technically nah, like but a... I just want to say, in... yuck Chatterbox, yuck you oh. yuck back, oh, no. and you're oh, fucking oh, ass. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 well, um, oh, that's your boy, oh, Bass. Great, great oh, okay. job, Bass. That's your boy, right? Isn't that your boy on the line? You'll be seeing bulldozers oh, and um. Man. Yeah, that that is my boy, and he's my boy. Oh my god! This is why. This is why, Bass. This is why the public doesn't trust you, man. Cause you're friends with some pieces of yuck like that. Oh. What are you, Kevin, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm demolishing the chain gang, low soul. What are you talking about? Oh, Whoa, wait. Man. I don't know what you're being demolished yet. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? What? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. But wait, first, wait, wait, wait. But first we're focused Rami, on the. He said he's gonna demolish your compound. Yeah. Suck it, Rami. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, what's going on here? Hell. Yes. Oh, well. We'll talk. Yes, we'll talk. We'll talk. we'll talk. We'll talk. Okay, sure, uh, sure. Uh, sure. Have, Give me a, call. have a good one. Uh, hang up on the. the, the uh, hey, same thing, right. Mr. Commissioner. I got a really quick question for you. I've been holding on to for a second here. You know, you were saying, you know, back when uh, Soze was running the place, he used to wear a lot of hats, and now you're taking some of his hats, right? No come. Well, I was wondering if there was any hats left to maybe share with the rest of us, because mm. I could use a little protection on my noggin. I don't, but if you come to my house, I got other things I can show you. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I got, I got oh, another question. All right. Did you just hit on oh, can, can my ring, wife ring, come? Ring, ring, ring. Bass, over time, over time, everybody has noticed, and it's pretty yucked up, that, you know, there's always been gangbang activity in the south side, so it's easy, because well, nobody wants to go to the south side anyway, because it's a yuck and dump, so you never really had to see the gangbangers. But, slowly, all of a sudden, the whole city is covered in gangbangers here, gangbang sprays there, spray here, turf there, gangbang, every yuck and street. You got plans to clean that up, Bass? You got plans to get rid of this and push it back to the south side where it belongs, Bass? Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna be taking all gang banger and, and, and play, all gang bangers and all gangsters and place in the south side. All of them. That way we can try to control them in a better way. So if there's any gang gang activity, it's at least contained in the south side. Do you, have a, do you have a timeline? As the leader of several gangs, uh, no. I have. I have a going back to the the, the, the compound thing. How is Little Moscow considered a, a gang territory? Aren't, not, isn't that like foreign with, land? We're starting with international um, issues, then we're working domestic afterwards. Ah, okay. And, and do you have like a timetable as to how long that As soon as take? I get the orders from the Senate. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Good to know, good to know. And how, how are you combating with... Um, with the uh, uh, corruption, you know, like there, there's a lot of cops oh, that like to take yes, people, yes, you know, yes, to yes, the yes, back yes, and beat yes, the yes, shit yes. out of people, you know. How are you dealing with Listen, that? Listen, I don't want Pete to be heavy-handed, all right? And when it comes to corruption, I've outlined a new um, policy within my PD, making sure that members of command, high command, face a zero tolerance policy when it comes to corruption. So any corrupt act they commit, they're gone, right? And officers and below also will deal with the same kind of wrath. We're going hard on corruption. We don't want our PD to be full of corrupt cops because few bad apples can rule a whole entire tree. And I don't want to go down that path once again. On on that topic, I think, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of citizens out there have experienced this as well. I know a long time ago I submitted a complaint about an officer. And, you know, I went through all the appropriate channels and made sure I, I gave all the information. And it felt like I just threw the complaint into a black hole and it never went anywhere. I never got any closure. I never know. I don't know if anything even happened to that officer. I, I don't know anything that was. Oh, okay. I, saw well, I haven't the report. seen him around. So. I saw the report and I thought, that's crazy. I'll handle it. Okay. And I well, went to a bridge mm -hmm. and threw him off of it. Oh, the Leo treatment. Well, other than giving officers the Leo treatment, um, is there going to be a way that we can, you know, close that loop, get some feedback, and and know that actions were actually taken, so that we feel as though, you know, um, not necessarily justified, but that you know we were heard. Kill him. Absolutely. Um, I'm trying to run on the, on the campaign of restoring trust within the public uh, as far as PD, right? Um, I want more civilians to feel like the, the PD is there out to protect them and has their best interest in heart. So we're definitely going to have a system in place to where when you make a report, especially when it has to do with officer conduct or corruption or crimes you're committing while being on duty, 
We'll take it with the utmost seriously uh, and make sure that you also know what happened afterwards. I think transparency is very key because how else would you know that things are different now? I will also uh, add on to that. Uh, while it can't happen to every circumstance, is, uh, we are a nation of laws after all. Um, government employees are entitled uh, some rights uh, within our system. And so, you know, we, we could certainly tell you if they receive punishment or not, but we might not be able to get into specifics on what punishment they receive, again, due to the, the laws regarding around all that. Yeah, and I think that's fine. I think it's more that just um, not feeling like we're just, you know, tossing a paper into a complaint box that, you know, we don't know where it goes to if anybody actually does anything, that kind of thing. Yeah, and um, honestly, my message is to civilians and not the civ lights or the crim light as they call them, the one that hide behind being a civ. But in the background, they got five stashes, they're a stash owner, and they got five warehouses, and they run a criminal org in the background, right? I know who you are. Like, like Pigeon, like Pigeon, for example. I know who you are. You probably got a bench out there, and you act like a civ. You're not a civ, okay? I'm talking about the people that don't do crime. People that, when they see crime be committed, they call the police, and they want nothing hey, to do well, with it. Hey, hey, yeah, well Pigeon, that means you. I hey, well the leaks like a civ. Yeah, he's very weird. What, mm. what the hell is that supposed to mean? You got diarrhea. I don't have diarrhea. James, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, Bob, uh, if you have diarrhea, you can step Ma out. Masha, I got a question. I, can... I got a question regarding snip it, snip, snitting. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. If you look at Twitter, I put a picture up. Is that enough to get somebody um, raided? Uh, that is Pockets the Clown. Uh, he had uh, robbed a bank, and I took this picture of him taking all the money into his apartment. Is that enough to get somebody raided? I don't see the money bags on him while I was entering the, the property, so I can't really raid him. They're there, Bass. They're, they're there, but... I don't... Do you see them? Where are they? Yeah, there's money bags, but it doesn't show him running into his apartment. He's running into the structure, though. Uh, Please take a look on Twitter. Oh, everyone can see, see Malton, the money bags. Malton, yeah, let, let, let this be on the record that Malton is, left, is pointing out to Bass right now that there is money bags there. Oh, I see, I see, I see. not see it because he is yuck and blood. What, what the, no, 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 no. I didn't see it. So I didn't see it because it. It, it blends in with the background. So now I saw it. What? Yeah, the picture's not moving. I, I have to see him enter the property because I'm not a corrupt cop, Chatterbox. I can't raid people or pump them because I can. I need the actual Chatterbox. probable cause. Ch Chatterbox, what, what account is tweeting that? Who is Jenkum Girardi? I don't know. But you said you tweeted it. I did. Well, oh, that's Chatterbox's real name, yeah. What? You got a room, right? I didn't well, set up my account. You, you guys didn't know that? Yeah, you guys didn't you know the chatterbox go by Jagger on the streets? Wait, is that is that Rami still on the line? How the hell is he still hey, on man, the line? I can't uh, wait till your yuck and compound is shut down, you piece of yuck. Okay. That's All rude. right. Well, you know, this is a great time to take an ad break. Uh, callers out there, get your questions ready. We will have one more round of conversation here with the uh, officers when we get back. Hold Jacob. tight. We'll be right back on Cubano Loco on Siren Radio. Oh, it's going pretty good. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, 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 it's definitely going. Uh, Cannoli and Multi, if you guys want to answer any questions that have been tossed my direction, feel free to step in and add more to that, all right? Only when you fuck them up, Bass. I'm here for you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Trying thank to recover you. from the minus 100 speech, sir. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank what you for the hell is a minus 100 yeah, speech? a long story. It's <laughs> well, a long story. It's a number. And if you minus it, it means it's a very low number. Use your Come freaking head, man. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah, Mr. Randall is very wise. How, how, how do you know he maybe he didn't go to college? He killed five of my kids. So hey, you, don't, you don't tell people that you're real. You don't tell people your real name, man. Your name is Jinkum. Yeah, your name. Yeah, but you have a legal name. Yes, Chatterbox is stupid. Shut up, yuck. Jagger Gerard. Jinkum and Gerard. Yeah. Yo, Sophie's doing a good job, by the way. You shouldn't be embarrassed, you know. Just like it's not Sam Bass, it's Kanye Bass. Chatterbug, you should legally change your first name to Shit, Piss, and Cum. And then you can... Why would I yuck and do that? That's awful! Why not? That's awful, James! That's a cool name, man. It's not a yuck and cool name, James! I will listen to Mr. Randall, Chatterbug. That's a cool name. He knows better than you do, right? That's a cool name. He's older, he's wiser, he knows better than you. All right, and that's right. Head on up to Vinewood Ave down to Sweet Remedies if you need to satisfy that sweet. Yeah. Remember, radio been sick, man. Can we please get down 4.0, man? Please. The please. One and only There's so much RP potential in these conversations. And uh, satisfy that sweet tooth.
If you want to play some out on Siren Radio, we are booking ads. Uh, we've got a lot of shows coming up in the next month, uh, especially with Pride Month coming up. Make sure you guys are taking a look at the calendar. We do have a show on Monday to kick off a lot of Pride Month activities. So get ready for that. And with that, we will take it back over here to our hosts, uh, to Osvaldo, and we'll uh, keep those questions going, guys. Uh, let's, uh, let's make sure we're getting to the truth here. All right, well, welcome back to this fucking shit show of a show, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, we, we, we have um, another question by, by Chatter that he really, really wants to ask because it looks like he's hopping up and down like a little kid on crack. Uh, help, so, help. Chatter, ask your question. Go ahead. Mo, mo, mo pin and bash, you know, she... We're talking and about, like, you know... Cannoli, bit, oh, and can, can OP, he only has one eye, though, so, you know, he's a little less uh, on the scale there. Um... So you're talking about civilians and gangbangers business and stuff like that. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious here that Vinny Papone, whatever that gangbanger's name is, the owner of Malpini's Pizza, uh, he's a straight-up gangbanger. He's a murder perm. He shoots cops. He robs people. He's a straight, downright gangbanger. And yet, that, that, that disgusting pizza place is still open. Why? Why? Because things will change, Shadowbox. If we do have proof to link anybody to um, having a business and using that business entity for personal gain while making money to support their criminal uh, endeavors, then we can definitely shut it down. Things are different now. Oh, why should a known criminal be allowed to own a business? I agree with you. Anybody who's got any uh, vinyl felony should not be allowed to um, own a business, right? I, I do believe in that. However, I don't make the laws when it comes to that. I just enforce them. Yeah, that's not that's not something uh, that, that that the police could handle. You know, they they just do what their uh, what oh, the no, laws they, are. You know, there's definitely a way he can handle it. Get rid well, of no, the gangbangers, no, bass. That's what I'm working on. Kim. Okay, Operation K A P P A. All right. So let let me ask you something, bass. What, if, there, what, if there's a known person, right? Operation uh, Kappa is gonna happen here pretty soon. What? Does, does it what? stand for something though? Is that an acronym or? It does. Classified. It does best oh, classified. classified. Like I said. Oh. Okay. We're going to be uh, picking up all the gangbangers and dropping them to the south side. That's the plan. I'm on my radio show, Gundy. Give me like 20 minutes. All right, caller. You're live on line one. Siren Radio, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah this is Mama. I, I, I want to see. Oh, hello. How you doing, hello. James? Yeah, I, you know, I got a, I'm, I'm, uh, got a really freaking show, man. You know, after, after this, better. It'll be better. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. I, I wanted to share my concerns with the uh, scene that everybody in the room is familiar with, a uh, Holden Maddox. That man's crazy. Fuck him! Oh, my God. I, 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 he's a terrorist, isn't he? Uh, he, he, he? He stole my gun? Hey. Uh, I recently uh, went down to the police station and said, hey, Holden, crazy guy. Let's talk about it. They said, you, James, you know, already there. I said, yes. They said, he shoot a lady. I said, yeah. Crazy. I, I actually have a Shut question. Shut the fuck up. I'm looking at the my story. Dude, James Randall no, is really I fucking would, funny, I man. I did not know that. Okay, well, yeah, I, uh, guys, I appreciate uh, how, that. How would you handle a situation where a man has killed five kids and he just he just goes to prison... And, and, and gets out after five consecutive murders. How, how, is, how, how is the PD going to handle I, something like that? That person should be placed in a chair. They should get their rifle in the squad is what I say. Okay. Uh, or, okay. Good to know. I so would defend if, myself. Um, At the end of the day, we are not arbiters of the law. We just enforce it as it's written. If you have uh, complaints about you know, prison sentences or think that James Randall killed five of my kids. You contact your judicial representative. He murdered True. five of my kids. Well, well you might be saying murdered. that at the end of the day, we still have to prove it. I can know that you killed 10 what? babies, but I got to prove in a court of law without a shadow of doubt Did that you, you killed, just say 10 I killed 10 babies. Oh, Fulto, you killed 10 babies. Hold on. No, 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 no. I did not kill uh, a I'm, single baby. I'm using baby. that as an example. I'm saying that I can know you've done something, you know, vile. I just got to prove in a court of law, right? Well, it's true. I did it. It wasn't murder. Osvaldo is a terrible father who raised violence. He shot violence. one in front of City Hall. Well, he was lunging at me with a hammer. No, he, he was wasn't. A... I, I defended myself. Osvaldo is a good man, but he's not a good father. And his you children are violent, angry, <laughs> and out for blood. And they, they, they wanted my blood, and I've had to defend myself against several of them. threw one off a maze bank tower, and it landed inside the, the chopper. 
the helicopter chopper and, and chopped them up into little bits and pieces, and I had this blood all over me. It was him or me. He was going to push me off. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. He shoved me, and I grabbed his arms and swung him around like a salsa dance, and he went flying off the ledge. What That's is what the police going to do with, with senile old men? What is the police going to do with, with, in, involving senile old men that clearly need to be put away? Kill them. <sighs> we, we can do that. Or we can place them in Parsons or give them the help they need. At the end of the day, we should not forget our seniors. They have um, have worked their ass off for us to have a better life. So let's give them a little bit of, you know, payback, right? So you're, you're saying James, someone like James Randall that murdered five humans should, should, should get payback. And, 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 no, three no, different. somebody who's murdered anybody should be executed if you ask me. If you kill somebody and you're a serial killer or somebody who um, intends on hurting people because you like it, you should be executed. Okay, are, are you guys gonna have like a department aimed towards uh, like detective type of things to, to, to uh, find uh, serial killers and things like that? Absolutely, we already have that. Any officer can start any investigation, but for long term investigation for building cases, we do have a unit coming in. Um, ran by Brian Knight. Oh. Uh, Wrong are there the any dog? other, uh, are there any other, you know, we, you mentioned the, the, what was the high school prom unit? H, what was it? Um, H high school H prom? H H oh my God, high school yeah. prom? Um, it was referred to like that on the streets the other day. I'm sorry. Um, high school mm, prom? So you got the HSPU, you have, uh, this detective unit. Are there any other, you know, Units are going to be trying to crack down on major crime within the city? Absolutely. we got a very vital unit that's working right now. Actually, three units. HVTU, which is a high-value target unit that uh, hunts after people are heavily wanted. We also got the Marine unit and the Air unit all working together when it comes to our borders. I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but there's been an increase of smuggling of criminal, uh, drug, and heavy weaponry being smuggled from San Queen Island back to Los Santos and vice versa. So we've been working on that as well to make sure that not only Los Santos from the inside is protected, but the outside is also protected. No. All right. Well, uh, do we have any other questions from our panel here? I know, Charlotte, you, you've you been quiet over there. Or anybody in the room? Hey, I, got, I got a question. I got a question. Okay. Chatter. So, what are you, so you obviously, you, you ignored that, you know, the city is full of gangbangers. Correct, Beth? I would say Correct. I would say eighty percent of the city is full of criminals and gang yeah. and gang bangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and the city that in the city is the LSPP that takes care of the city, right? And then well, Sandy Shores. Sandy Shores has a police station there, right? And that's the police station, right? Yep. Yeah, SCSO, yes, correct. Yeah. And what about Po P Po Bay? That's gonna be the Bay, the Police yep. Bay Sheriff's Office, yes. Yep, yep. And um not grapeseed though, right? Not not in grapeseed. It's kinda of funny and there's no gangbangers in grapeseed, Bass. Because the clowns are in grapeseed. Because we kicked them all out and took control of it to protect the civilians there. What the yuck are you doing in the city and all of the other departments, man? It's a yuck and mess. Well, if you it's ask me, mess. if you ask me, clown or gangbanger, same thing, right? Just different face masks. Excuse me. Oh, all right, we have a. Uh, uh, let's get that phone uh, call. Hi, up. yeah, that high pitch, the first high pitch call. Go ahead, you're live on line one, Siren Radio. Hi. Hi there, my name is Dr. Stanfield. Uh, I've been a fan of Los Cubanos Locos uh, for quite some time. Uh, the reason I'm calling actually is I'm a, uh, I've, 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 I've transitioned into speech pathology uh, and I wanted to call in and mention to Mr. Chatterbox. Um, oh, okay. I, I've been listening to your speech impediment, uh, where you nice. tend to replace le different letters with P's or Y's, etc. And I don't <laughs> want to alarm you, but in my studies, I found that that is typically a sign of severe uh, brain deterioration, often caused by maybe a latent uh, bullet that has not been removed. I, I just, I just, just a good, just a Samaritan listener, wanted to let you know that. Uh, I've been listening to the whole show, and I, th I think you should get a, an MRI uh, or an X-ray. Get an MRI. Say, uh -huh. say civilian. Say civilian. C civilian. Yeah, oh man. My God. Oh I'm my worried God. about you. Oh my God. I'm worried about you. Kind of box. I can put you out of mischief if you want. I can make a legal happen. No, wait, no, 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 no. I, can, I'm, I, I'm I should probably I'm announce that we're pushing for, for a new legislation within the Senate to make all clowns be shot on sight. What? That's what? some bullying. That's some clowning. 
Bullyug! Well, I mean, if, if it's a matter of, you know, chatterbox, the situation, what you're experiencing could be contagious, we may have to nip it in the bud. Anyway, I'm gonna, uh, that's all, I have to get back to, uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a patient. Uh, all right. That's some bullyug, that's some... Thanks for your time. No. Hey, uh, take care, Mr. Clem. That's some bullyug, everybody listening, that's bullyug. Thank, Thank you for your call, sir. Thank you for your call. All the other calls are fine. Sure, and they're all sure, fine. Man. If I if I end up dead, it's because Bass murdered me, cold blood. Yuck! Whoever called you, you're probably not a real yuck. You. It's, nobody oh listens to that. Shadowbox, I think that guy was trying to kill you, because if you have a bullet in your head and you get an MRI, that magnet is gonna he's gonna pop that thing. That was that man was that man was crazy. James, I you can't let me go back there. James, you can't let that happen to me. Shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> <laughs> you're done, James. You gotta protect what the hell? me. Wait, uh, what? You gave James what? I gave him a gun! What? Well, uh, you know, speaking of legislation, <laughs> Bass, I did get a uh, text here. Um, uh-huh, go ahead. Yeah, huh? And they asked about, um, is there going to be increased pressure on cops to not just put cases up on the docket and uh, leave them there to die? Um... So uh, when it comes to the docket, most of the time is we're ready. The issue about it is going to be scheduling. We all know scheduling is very hard to pull off, and I know the DOJ is going through a lot of changes that will make things a lot easier for both sides. So the city will definitely be a lot better. We've been through a lot of um, different systems that we had in place that did not work out very well. I can assure you that things will be different. I can guarantee Are you working hand-in-hand hand with the DOJ Correct. Um, Correct. and the Senate? Then Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we're all um, peas in the pond, working, trying together to make sure that the whole entire city feels better. Um, all these new systems are coming in, also are implemented to uh, just make a lot more sense going forward. And uh, I would assume then, are you also working hand in hand with the mayor's office? Absolutely. And ages as well to make sure that all civilian aspects and laws and duties are protected. Another gangbanger as mayor. And Big surprise. Ages, ring, ages, ages ring, is something ring. that you're one of the board ring, members, ring. aren't you, Bass? Ring, I am ring. a board member. Uh, we do have a caller. We do have a caller. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, caller, go I, ahead. Just, just, just asking about, like, uh, if the population of this city is 80% criminal, uh, wouldn't that mean that the police department uh, isn't doing a very good job? Yes, we've, let, we've definitely failed you. Uh, as as uh, civilians yeah. of Los Santos, we have failed you. And we're trying to regain that trust once again. You ruined my fucking life! <laughs> what? It's okay, James. It's okay. Uh, Alright. You, you'll be okay, James. Really? Really? Chad, yeah. Somebody wipe his teeth. Right. Can you get him a tissue? I'm not. I'm I, that, I am not. He I, has well, boogers. And... You're close, so. Bon Bon's closer. No, don't bon Bon. I'm alright. I'm alright. So. Uh, what I'm what I'm getting at is you you guys know you guys have failed and you guys really want to uh, make a, a 180, no? Uh, it's exactly it's a different time in the PD. We definitely um some of us believed in the changes that were happening were not the best for the PD and the city as a whole. But now we're gonna go back to focusing on trying to build that relationship by having multiple community out, you know outreach events by working closely with the civilians by gaining their trust and showing them that we mean business, right? As far as the crime being rampant. It's definitely a symptom of just um, the civilian population being uh, pushed aside and where new things that are coming into the city focus on crims and cops. But we're trying to change as a whole. We're trying to also another element to civilians that makes it more exciting and feel more safe while being who you are in the city. And, and what about as, as position as commissioner? Are you guys going to have like term limits? Uh, that way, you know, like a new fresh face could get in there and stuff like that, or or is it? Uh... It's not something that I can make up as far as a rule. It's something that is by the Senate. Um, mm -hmm. I could be removed tomorrow by the Senate if they wanted to, right? My job is to work on the things that I want to make happen in the city and to also make this place a better place for everybody involved, right? That is my job. If I don't do that, if I fail, I'll step down. But and I will say... take his place. Okay. Well, James, you you're not gonna take over. Who are you to tell me? Who are you to tell me? Our, uh, what? our, our text Go lines, are, our, our anonymous text lines are lighting up over here, and we do have a lot of comments coming from, yes. as you said, the civilians in the city. I think. I, I do want to uh, also I'll... elaborate on something. Imagine a future to where if you're a civilian and you place your bank, uh, sorry, you place your money in a bank, right? And um, a criminal comes in and robs the Felica Bank, and they rob your money. 
Yeah, sure, it's insured, and you might get it back, you know, but it might take some time. But what if the PD got it back right away? What if the PD caught the criminal, brought that pile of bag of money back to you as a civilian and made you feel proud? Something like that is where we can start affecting uh, civilians directly by making sure that whenever they're a victim of a crime, we have the ability not only to protect them and find the person that did it, but also return their belongings. Because a lot of times, people give up on the system because they know that once they're robbed or attacked, Nothing could be done, and they're just, um, you know... Really, Cannoli? Really? A person that cannot protect themselves because they're dealing with somebody who is much bigger and stronger than they are. So, we want to protect those people who are weak. Well, and well, as, a, as an anonymous texter just said, a lot of us feel as though we've, we've uh, felt more harm and harassment from the police at times than we do even from criminals. Absolutely. There was a lot of bad apples we got rid of that give a, the, the police department a pretty bad name. Um, I'm not going to mention names, but... Um, there's a lot of people that use, you know, their job as a police officer as a way to seek revenge, um, be vindictive, try to um, go after people they don't like personally, right? It shouldn't be like that. Bias should not be anything in police work. You should not be emotionally compromised while performing duties as a police officer, right? Wait, did Carmine get fired? I'm going to uh, add, add on to that a little bit, right? The police department, obviously, we do everything we can to sort out those bad apples and to put a good uh, public-facing perspective for the civilian. However, we can only solve problems that we are made aware of, and I, I think a big part is reporting that police officer misconduct. I know a lot of you have, and I know it was mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, it feels like it may go into a, a black hole or a waste basket. Obviously, we're, we're trying to change that, but uh, once again, we, we can only change what we know for certain is happening, and if you're not reporting it, then we may not know what's going on. What the, what, what are you stuff. guys gonna do uh, to combat uh, like people getting kidnapped, like like uh, the, you know hanging out at Burger Shot, which should be a, a fine establishment to go eat, uh, has turned into any five minutes, uh, and and someone's gonna roll up and say get the fuck in the car. Uh, before uh, before, you guys before, plan on before we that? answer that question, Kano, is there anything else you want to add on the topic of just um, PD and civs and things we could do to uh, be better? Uh, I think the PD is taking active steps uh, to make ourselves more available to uh, more people. I know, I don't know if Bass touched on it, but, you know, dispatch is getting an overhaul uh, so we can more accurately uh, provide support for civilians and 911 related crimes uh, outside of, you know, major crimes, i.e., you know, bank robberies and things like that. Uh, so the PD is taking, you know, active steps to put our best foot forward going forward. Uh, it's just going to take some time. So, you know, I think all we can ask uh, from anybody is just uh, some patience while we go through this, uh, you know, phase, this growing pain mm -hmm. phase and try some new stuff and uh, see what we can do. To yeah, make I mean, the city a better place. You're not going to see the changes happen overnight. We didn't get here overnight. We're not going to leave overnight. So give us some time. We can, we're working the PD. I can promise you that good, good changes are coming that you guys want to enjoy and like. And appreciate so that is our plan that is our goal is to also make you guys feel protected um make you feel like uh, when we ever show up on scene we're gonna be very competent and the job will be done and you're not gonna be brushed aside oh a caller that seems to be underwater go ahead <laughs> uh hey uh can i get an extra large uh, pepperoni oh, with a uh, side of... Sir, this is not a Papa John's. Uh, we might be getting some what? interference from the burger shot. Uh, oh, drive shit, through, yeah. 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 No, oh, am I call this is not... Who you, is this? You're calling the radio show. You're on the I'm radio, radio sir. I'm on the you're radio? On the radio. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Wait, really? Like on the yes. like, like on the radio? Yeah, what's your yeah, name? Yeah, you're on... Yep. Um... I've never been on the radio. What, did I oh, win it's something? easy. You just kind of talk. That's all there really is to it. Whoa. Do you know how to talk, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then you're going you're gonna to do fine. Welcome to the show. Cool, cool, cool. Do you have um, anything you want to say about the police department in this city? What city? The, the, what do you mean? The city we're in, Los Santos. I'm in Idaho, man. Oh, sir, sir, I want to ask you a question. We, oh, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't the dominoes off of Iguana? Oh. This no, is a radio no. show. You guys are serious. How do you feel about pizza fish? Huh? How do you feel about pizza fish? Like like a fish-shaped pizza? Yeah. That's fine. You can cut it in whatever shape you want to put it in. It's still pizza, man. All right. Okay, cool. 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 Uh, all anyway, right. Well, this is a long-distance um, call, so 
uh, you, yeah. got, you got I anything mean, else, or? Uh, you guys can uh, follow me on Instagram. I've got like 124 followers. I'm trying to hit 150. Okay. Hang on. What the hell? Shameless. God damn. All right. Well. About about people getting kidnapped in in, 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 in big areas. How how are how are you guys gonna combat kidnappings? Before I proceed, I do want to say I'm missing on an S plus plus boost. That's how much I care about being here. Okay. I, I just want you to know, myself, that, Cannoli. That's and, more important. Top, no. Top no I'm, wow, saying, that's commitment. I'm saying this is more important than S plus plus oh, boost. Okay, oh, think about okay, that. Good, S plus plus only happens once in a while, right? Think about that. You know that that's actually exactly what happened. Though they said to me when when when, when the airplane crashed into the MRPD. <laughs> All right. Wait, well, uh, Mama, she so when you committed terrorism and, okay. and got an airplane into MRPD, as well though, I think, I think did you were the one flying. I, I, right, well, uh, I wasn't. I was. I was already down because 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 you shot me. Well, you know. I, you know, I think we are, uh, like we said, we want to get these officers back out on the street so they can take care of these things and do all the things that they're promising. So uh, do we have any final questions for them here? Well, uh, let me let me answer the question that Asvaldo, uh, <coughs> sorry, Asvaldo has proposed. Mm -hmm. We can't stop crime 24-7. We can't be around everywhere 24-7. It's just an unfortunate sad reality of things. We only got limited cops that can patrol the city, right? Therefore, that some calls we might miss. However... The nature of kidnapping happens often because a lot of people like to hit banks. It's, a, it's something that's going to happen daily because people can rob banks daily. Now, if we implement a system to where we can be, you know, we can respond faster to these um, normal calls of kidnapping, then we can try to make sure that the person who gets kidnapped is returned safe and sound. A lot of times we might miss a call or two. And I do apologize, not because we don't care, it's because at times we're busy and we can't respond to it. And that's just a um, sad reality of things. That's all it is. Is this the goal of that uh, to the changes to the dispatch system? Because uh, we also have some text Absolutely. come in about yes. you know if you report your vehicle stolen or your gun stolen and things like that. Same deal where it kind of feels as though um, you know it, again the black the black hole kind of situation. A yeah, Absolutely, I go ahead, Moulton. I was gonna say yeah. So much like we've been building up the police department for the past uh, two and a half months. We're also starting a similar process with our dispatch department. A lot of changes that are coming into dispatch, um, a lot of which we can't really release right now because they, they are classified. But what I will say, one of the things we are working on is more personnel for dispatch. Uh, we can't promise 24 seven coverage day one, but as we grow the dispatch department with these new tools and getting them more personnel, uh, hopefully that'll make the text to speech system that many of us are used uh, to a bit redundant and that'll help us respond to these kidnappings or get to these high profile crimes in areas faster as you'll be able to talk to a dispatcher who could relay us that information in real time as opposed to text to speech. I, I have a question for you, Mr. Malton, regarding the person else. Oh, I fucked up on 301. It sounds like perhaps maybe do we want person L or don't you think we should have person W? Because if we bring in person L, it sounds it won't be they, they will it won't I prefer we prefer, what about why not, how come why not W? Any person who is interested with a clean record, you know, be they person L, person W, or person Z, is okay. welcome to express interest to uh, you know PD dispatch PD ring, or ring. any of our auxiliary positions. That's been impressive. I agree. This radio show has been amazing. Um, I'm, we got one tomorrow the, to chat. Last few callers here. Caller, you're live on line one. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, this is Ryan, Ryan Bowman, uh, Bowman without a W. I'm just here to answer James Randall's question. Uh, listen, not having a W, it's it's perfectly fine, um, you know, in your name. I mean, you don't need uh, a W in your name to have, uh, you know, a good life. Uh, you just might get kidnapped often or something. The power's out! <laughs> what happened? The power's out! The power's out! It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, we have, it's we have backup it's, generators. It's we can keep the broadcast going. Um, all right, well... I, like I said, uh, Apollo, power is out. Do, do you have any uh, last comments? I do. Oh, Chatter does? Okay, Chatter, go uh, ahead. Generator. Sometimes All when right, the we'll BGB... let Chatter and then I'll say my closing thing. Sometimes when the BGB get mad at me and they what? and they, 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 they say I don't have rights and they chase me, I'll go to the fun house to hide and then, and then they'll go in the house and they'll start destroying it and smashing it. And then sometimes they'll, they'll send me pictures of them 
putting their fingers in their mouth and vomiting all over the furniture and pooing on the floor to make me mad? Is that allowed, Bess? Nice question. You, you shared it, man. What the yuck? You shared oh, it, man. Okay, okay, all right. Well, um, I just want to say, uh, I want to take the time out to thank Connolly, uh, Moulton, and, and Bass for uh, taking a, a, a little bit out of their, you know, time out of their busy schedule to, to kind of, you know, uh, let people know the, the differences that's going to be happening. And, and again, it's not going to be right away. It's going to take some time. And uh, I, I'm pretty excited to see what you guys have in store for us, you know? And uh, yeah, I our think guest? It was really great. Guests, do you guys have anything else you want? To, what's your what I'm, do you want I'm, to leave? I'm, this I'm, I'm happy to, to answer more questions. Charlotte I'm happy to make sure that every single question Don't on this radio has been asked or answered. Um, I'm happy to help. Do you have a timeline? Do you have a timeline on the gang compound situation? You got a timeline uh, on that? It's happening soon, TM. Like I said, I don't have an ETA, but like I said, this is something we're trying to do. We're trying to cleanse our city of having, um, you know, gangsters and criminals walking the streets everywhere, right? It should feel like a city full of um, civilians that want the best for their city, right? And criminals should be placed behind bars. That is my campaign I'm running on, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that happens. I have uh, some closing thoughts, I guess, on uh, behalf of myself or the PD. If uh, Canole or Bass wants to add on after, they're more than welcome to. Uh, first off, thank you for having us on the show. We do appreciate you coming out here and trying to explain things from a PD perspective as much as we're allowed to legally, at least. And uh, while we did cover a lot of things here, mostly revolving around corruption, uh, criminal elements, etc., it's important to note that uh, the police department is ever evolving and civilians have every right to be a part of that process. We are, after all, uh, serving the community. Um, we can't promise everything and we, we certainly aren't going to, but if you feel that there are pressure points out there that you're facing as a civilian that you wanna make known, uh, be that uh, units, uh, officers who are giving you issues or anything like that, just come on down and talk to us at a command level. I think, uh, you know, I can't speak for everyone in the PD, but from a command plus perspective, at least for myself, Bass and, and Cannoli down there, we're more than happy to take a, you know, five to 10 minutes, see even longer out of our day to talk to you about what your problems are and what you think we need to do as uh, the, the PD to fix it. All right. Very well, well said, him. Malton. Very well said. Uh, Cannoli, anything else we want to add before we uh, wrap it up? Uh, I think... Uh, Malton really hit it nail on the head. Uh, we're not perfect. Uh, just because we're police officers, yeah, we we're going to make that. mistakes. Uh, the only thing we can do is, uh, you know, try every day to get that much better. And over, you know, a month, two months time, uh, that's going to compound. Uh, and, you know, problems are problems uh, unless you talk about it. So we appreciate, you know, any feedback uh, that civilians want to give, like uh, Malton said, you know, and we'll be sure to handle it. All right. Well, you heard him. A lot more transparency and honesty, hopefully, coming from the police department. Hopefully, a lot more communication from not just the criminals in the city, but the civilians as well, and uh, cleaning up those streets. So uh, with that, we thank you. It was another great episode of Cubana Loco here on uh, Siren Radio. I did have an anonymous text come in that says uh, that you guys need to get better ice cream in your glove boxes. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. And we'll be back again soon here on Siren Radio. I love shit like this, man. I love shit like this, man. This has been a Siren Radio production broadcast live from Games. Los Santos. The views and opinions expressed today do not necessarily reflect those of Siren Radio or our broadcast partners. Whole time, We'd like to thank our sponsors, guest callers, pants, and of course, James. our listeners. Continue to follow us well, on Twitter. I appreciate Twitter you guys know, coming out, man. Next. I hope you guys have a good time. Oh, you know? thank you for having us. It's Siren awesome. Radio I love this show again, man. I want to fully support it. Right? It's and awesome. Oh, thank you, for a bunch of 101.1 Siren Radio. Shut up, Bob. She about to take that back right now, okay? Thank I came you. over oh, here what? to speak to oh, you what? and the rest Bass, of the public. Let's make sure we get their radios back to them. Oh, yeah? yeah? Rest yeah. of the public, huh? If I don't see those gang compounds taken down in a month, Bass, yeah. it's going to get bad. Yeah, it will. Don't worry, Chatterbox. Um, I'm not the only person that shows that kind of, um, you know, resentment toward compounds. A lot of people do, so it's only a matter of time. It should happen sooner. Have a good time. Yeah, well... I right. just have to get involved and do it for you like everything else. Oh, shut the hell up, Chatterbox, okay? Oh, All you do is stand in my way. That's what you do, Chatterbox. We put the radios back. I stand in your way? Yeah, thank you. No, once upon a time, we had a good relationship, okay? And you decided to throw that all away because of Dundee. Oh, when was that, Bass? Because of Dundee. You decided to buy his bullshit story 
and make an enemy out of me for no reason. Oh, really? So you didn't do it, Bash, even though you told me how many times that you did it? Why you give a fuck? It wasn't you that got hurt. When do I give a yuck? Because at that time, Dundee actually wasn't a piece of yuck. And you turned him into a monster. Ah, what happened, what happened to him monster. when he came back? What happened to him when he Norman came back? Bones he was this. a piece of No, no, no. You don't have the full story. That's the problem, Chatterbox. Norman, you think you I'm the talk villain. You want to about this Norman Bone? There's nothing so to talk that, about. It's so in the past. So this wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. It was not my fault. It was Norman you Bones that pushed him that way. You and Andrews are sacks of yuck, and you know it. You are a piece of yuck. That's what you are, Shadowbox. Oh, you just wait. You just wait, Bass. Can I yuck your face? Mr. Randall, thank you so much. Sophie, you killed it. You and Osvaldo and everybody else, the clowns, y'all killed it. Thank you so much for your time. Well, I appreciate you. that. Yeah, right? thanks, uh, thanks for coming, guys. Yep. Uh, anytime you want to come on the show, we're happy to have you.